is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of the conference report to accompany H.R. 1, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. For the first time since 1986, there is a real opportunity to challenge the status quo and simplify the tax code. The final agreement lowers rates and significantly increases the standard deduction for both individuals and joint filers. American families will see the child tax credit expanded to help parents with the cost of raising children. Importantly, the graduate tuition voucher exemption and student loan interest deduction have remained to ensure our commitment to opportunity through education. I and many of my colleagues urge the conference committee to keep these important provisions intact. H.R. 1 also eliminates Obamacare's individual man mandate penalty tax to allow Americans the flexibility to buy health care that's right for them. Job creators will see the corporate tax rate lowered to 21% on January 1, 2018, which is the largest reduction in our nation's history. Mr. Speaker, this is just some of what this once-in-a-generation proposal does to help America keep more of their hard-earned paychecks. I encourage my colleagues to join me in voting for H.R. 1. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield